Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Heather Show. Me, 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 me. Coming to you. That's right. You over there. You live from our Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree. We'd love to wish you all happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and everything else that means happy holidays to your family from our family. We love you all, and we wish you a very happy holiday from every one of us. We love you. And that would be me and John, every one of us. Anyways, we are on our way today. We're going to do something wonderful because we love charity. You know bikers and bikers love charity. Last week we got to do a wonderful ride with the Warriors MC. And this week we're getting to do another wonderful charity ride. We're going to go this week with the Bikers Care. And we've done this before and we love them. Bikers Care, we love you. You know that, Guard Dog and Ninja. We love working with you. We've worked with you for three years and we just love it. We get to work with Bikers Care, No Child Forgotten, and it is fantastic Christmas poker run. And what they're doing is making sure that within five, count it, one, two, three, four, five counties, no child will be forgotten. No child will wake up without a Christmas present, hopefully. They are going to make sure that in all of their um, <clears throat> facilities where they keep all of the, the um, presents and things, they are going to make sure that all of their foster children, all of the children that have been abused, all of the children that are going through all of these horrible things that children should never have to go through in life, they are going to get a Christmas present and have a Christmas tree to wake up to. And that is because your money, our money, our rides, our donations, your donations are just going to make it possible. And that's why we're standing in front of our tree today because our tree is important to our family. We love our tree. It means a lot to us. It's beautiful. It's sparkly. It's gorgeous. John and I wake up every morning. We come out. We have our coffee. We look at it. We love it. We reminisce. We have great moments, great memories. And it just warms our heart when we think about all of the great charity things that we get to do and the people that we get to help. That's what the true meaning of Christmas means to us. It's not about what we get. It's not about any of that. We don't care. It's about giving, exactly. Because to be honest, John and I are in our 50s. He just reached his 50s. I'm in my 50s. And to be honest... I have what I want. I'm a happy, content, satisfied, beautiful woman. John's a happy, content, satisfied, handsome man. And we don't want anything. We're happy. And all we want is for everybody else in this world to be happy and content and satisfied too. And if we can help make other people happy, then we're going to do it. And if we can help other people out in this life, then we're going to do it. And we hope you will too. And that means by helping out with charity. And that is what we want you to do. Please help out Bikers Care. It is a wonderful organization. They mean so much to us. And you can help out with Guard Dog and Ninja. All you've got to do is make a donation to Guard Dog or Ninja at Bikers Care. And you can give them a call at any time at 813-909-3803 or www.bikerscare.org. That's www.bikerscare.org. We're getting ready to go start our ride. We're going to go meet them over there at the first stop, which is at Lollygaggers. And um, this is an app ride. An app ride means that you use your phone and we get to go use the phone and we use the little app. And for each ride, each destination we go through, we hit our little app and it clicks us in. 
and then we go to the next stop and we do the next ride and then we do the next ride and then we all meet at the end at the last ride, I mean at the last stop. So it's going to be really neat, and we're looking forward to it. And, of course, we're going to do our usual videoing. John's going to do his fantastic photographing and his fantastic videoing. And we're going to have wonderful video made for you. But we just wanted to open this up with how wonderful this is to us, how much Bikers Care means to us. And a uh, wonderful ride. We really, really enjoy doing this with Ninja and Guard Dog. And we really want you to understand and to feel what we feel. And hopefully you will feel that by the end of this video, if not by the beginning of this video. And uh, make a donation. Reach out to www.bikerscare.org or call 813-903-3803. Don't let a child wake up on Christmas morning without a present or a Christmas tree. Good morning, everybody. We're here at Lolly Gaggers, and we're getting ready to go on our first annual Bikers Care No Child Forgotten Christmas Poker Run. And we're getting ready to go, and we're so excited because we have a new venue. We have Brenda here with Lolly Gaggers, and she has a new venue, which is Lolly Gaggers, and they are going to tell us a little bit about why they have decided to join Bikers Care and what it means to them to be a part of such a big charity organization that is helping children get presents on such a wonderful day. <laughs> Thanks. Um, we're happy to join. Uh, we just opened this location in July. We have another location in Crystal River and a few other restaurants over on the west side. Um, we're happy to join with anything that is benefiting the children. Um, we're very appreciative of all the bikers that are going to come together. Uh, greatly underestimate their power in taking care of children in these counties and so we're just very happy to have joined this year and we appreciate you all including us oh god that's right. so wonderful right. you, you guys are fantastic <laughs> and we you. appreciate it <laughs> um what does it mean to you about bikers care bikers care provides gifts for children that are left out or or, or uh, been um, abused, uh, left out or in the foster system, might not get a gift on Christmas morning, wake up without a tree, and they're providing within five counties 100% of all of the donations and all of the proceeds will go to each and every one of the uh, shelters. Well, how, how does that make you feel? Well, it's incredible. I mean, I think most the general public miss you know, grossly underestimates the power of the biker community as a whole and what they do. I mean, we've watched them in the media where, you know, children have been abused and they've shown up at their house. Um, every time there's a need for children, they're probably the first one that jump on board. Yeah. Um, we have, you know, incredible, you know, Casa and Jesse's Place and all of these other wonderful places here in Citrus County, which I'm sure in the other counties they have as well, um, that are stepping up and taking care of these children. Um, so it's amazing. You guys as a whole is is ridiculous how much you do, um, and it's appreciated. I mean, we as a, as a venue are excited that you chose us because it's important to us, um, but I think it's important to everybody, and, and to be able to see you all, you know, taking your time out and, and doing these, you know, there's one constantly that you all are helping someone, and it's very much appreciative. Well, that's great. So, and so you right. have facility, a, a lolly gathers here, and you have one in Crystal River. I have one in Crystal River. Um, we own the Loft Bar and Grill in Crystal River. Um, we own Kane's Cattle Company in downtown Crystal River. So Wonderful. we have a little bit of everything. We have a couple food trailers and some other stuff. And we have, more importantly, we're fifth generation in Citrus County, and we have a huge cattle ranch just down the road here. Well, yeah. So we're from here. We're natives. You, yes, you are. <laughs> so, well, it's so. been a pleasure meeting you, you as Brenda. Well. Right. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Right. And I wish all a very successful ride. Happy today. holiday, you Kwanzaa, well. Hanukkah, <laughs> and everything else. All right, thank you. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> And that's why these two beautiful ladies are here from CASA. They're going to tell you a little bit about what CASA does and what their main reason here is. 
to provide gifts for these children in these five counties, and they're going to let you know a little bit about CASA and what CASA does. Hi, Sunshine. Hi, Hi Kimberly. Hi. Let us know a little bit about what you all do. All right. Good morning. Um, so I'm Sunshine. I'm the CEO of CASA here in Citrus County. And what we do is we provide all year long domestic violence services and safe shelter for those um, who have been victimized by domestic violence. They come into our shelter home for safety, to live with us. We help them to rebuild their life and live a life of independence. And these um, mostly women come to us and they have children. And at Christmas time, there's lots of um, fundraisers and benefits for children that are in foster care and other things. But um, Pete and the guys with Bikers Care and the women recognize that a lot of times the domestic violence shelters, because we have to live in such secrecy, the children in our shelters are not at the forefront of people's mind at Christmas and Bikers Care is doing an awesome job to make sure that the children in all the shelters in the local five counties are going to have a great Christmas this year. That's so important. And, uh, what else do you do? What else does CASA do all year long? So all year long we operate a domestic violence shelter for survivors and their children. So we can house um, up to about 32 people in our shelter home. We also have an outreach center, so if people don't need shelter, but they might need our support services, advocacy, they want somebody to go with them to court to help them file an injunction. We have support groups, we have financial education. Um, a really big piece of domestic violence is financial abuse and control. So we really are helping um, holistically to rebuild lives of survivors and their children so that they can live independently and successfully and not depend on somebody to take care of them. That's fantastic. I love that. And that's very important. And anybody that's out there, if you're in any type of situation where you feel threatened or you're in an abuse situation, please get in touch with the um, uh, CASO or any type of um, place that you may need that is in your county or within your your realm that you can get help from because it is much needed don't put it off you need it your children need it and um, for your safety please do it and on that note we wish you the best and the most happiest and happiest of holidays a very Merry Christmas and please give please give to CASA to Bikers Care it is the it is what is important all year long, like I said, not just this time of year, but all year long. going to tell us a little bit about the Haven Center, the Haven of Lakeland and, and Sumter Counties, I'm sorry, and what they do to help you. Um, hello. Um, yes, my name is Tamika, and I actually work in Lake P Panasofke, which is considered Sumter County. Um, we have two outreach offices, the one that's in Lake Panasofke and the one that's in Leesburg, Florida. So we cover Lake and Sumter counties. We provide services to survivors of domestic abuse, sexual abuse, and human trafficking. We are a nonprofit organization, so anyone that comes and receives uh, services from our agency, it is free of charge. So we're just grateful to be here today and thank everyone for supporting. That's a tremendous feat that you do, <laughs> helping people that have gone through such tremendous things. I mean, I know myself, I am a survivor, so I understand completely what it's like to be that. And I know that the, the need 
for ongoing therapy and therapies themselves. It never ends. That is correct. That is correct. It is a process. It is a process. So it is greatly that the community knows that we're here. Everything that we do is a private information. If you come and receive services from our agency, um, it is confidential. We don't share your information with anybody. Um, we get referrals from hospitals, the sheriff's departments, the jails. Everyone in the community does refer um, clients to our agency. But everything that we do, again, it's free of charge. Um, you wouldn't have to pay for anything coming into our office. And we do service children as well yeah, as adults. That that's fantastic so that's there's no reason for you not to seek the help that you need if people need help this is the reason and how do they get in touch with you um, you can call we actually have a hotline so the hotline is the best to call because someone is there um, 365 24 hours a day and that number would be 352 753 5800 again that's 352 seven five three five eight zero zero and that is our hotline number that is available 365 24 hours a day that's fantastic Tamika thank you so much thank you and you're going to be at the last stop right that is correct and you're going to be giving this away yes that this is one of the raffle items this is um you can purchase a ticket um and hopefully you will win uh this item if that's what you choose and I also have a mystery box item you can purchase a ticket for this one as well and then you can hopefully win the item Wonderful. Well, I look forward to seeing you at the last stop. Yes. It's been wonderful meeting you ladies. You guys do a wonderful thing. I love it. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you. And uh, have a wonderful and very Merry Christmas. Same to you. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and everything else. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Yes, so we have advocates that if they need to make appointments and come in, we can set them in, they can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if they want a group sessions, we have group sessions every Tuesday afternoon. Um, call, make the appointment. We'll be happy to bring you in and have that discussion. And we also every now and again have some kind of therapeutic session where they do like an art. We did our wine glass painting in September um, and they do t-shirts sometimes. So we always think of creative ways to um, help them express their feelings. That's awesome. That is really unique. So let me ask you, what do you think about what is happening, what is going on with Biker's Care and what Guard Dog and Ninja are doing to help children and women and men get um, presents, uh, a gift or a tree or a new item this Christmas? I think it's absolutely amazing because these individuals come to us and in that situation they're going through trauma they come with not much so with ninja and guard dog coming in and bikers care is supporting this um, cause it's amazing because it gives them an opportunity to have a Christmas they might not have had so they'll have presents under the trees um, the parents whether it's the mother or the father um, will have something under that tree and provide to their children so it's it truly is a blessing that warms my heart I mean it just it really does it makes me feel so good. I'm just so excited. And Debbie, you're in training, correct? Yes, I'm in training and I'm actually just volunteering today with Anna. Um, so when I complete my training, I will be in the advocacy program. So I will be placed anywhere. So I've just had a, a strong draw towards women, children that need these kinds of services. So they're going to use what my skill set is to kind of help them identify with Perhaps they're matriculating and getting back into society and finding jobs and resources. And so I may wind up doing something like that. But for now, I'm helping Anna and, and other events that come up. I've told her that I'm free to volunteer. It's a good cause and um, and I believe in it 100%. So I'm excited about today, really am. And and what do you think about today and helping the children, oh, I think it's men, amazing. women? And oh my gosh, it's amazing. I didn't know, you know, I, I moved back here from Massachusetts. I've only been here a few months. So being here and getting to be a part of this and seeing that this is actually something and a program that is available, I think is astounding. So um, to me, you know, children are, I have my own children, they're grown now, but I just can't imagine for the, that child that can wake up and not have something like under the tree. It, the, that's magic, right? So this brings magic to their life. Exactly. And to the, to the parents who are just not in a place right now where they can help their own kids because they're going through their own trauma. Yeah. So this is, um, it's an amazing program and I think it's well worth um, every penny that people spend. and. Gosh, I hope everybody's out there today buying even more tickets just to help out those kids. Yeah, and 100% of the proceeds, not 90%, right? yep. not 80, but 100%, 100%. go yes. towards right. your facility yes. and all the other facilities that are named. Correct. You got it, absolutely. Yes. And we're very thankful for that. Yes. Yay. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, for everything that you are doing, sure. that you have done, and that you will do. Right. Thank you so much. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Happy Steve. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, <laughs> and everything else. Uh, Merry Christmas and Merry happy Christmas. holidays. Thank you for so having nice us. to meet you. Thank you, and so lovely to meet all of you. Thank you. Hey, and it's Dale and Regina, correct? Correct, yes. All right, and they came here, and they're from? Tampa. Okay, and they are here on the third stop such as we are, and they're letting us know what they're feeling about this ride, how they feel about this Biker's Care No Child Forgotten Christmas Poker Ride, how it feels to know that we're making a difference in a child's life and putting a Christmas gift under the tree for one child at least. How does that make you feel? Amazing. Yeah. Warms the heart to give back. Um, I had to use this program when my first son was born. Mm -hmm. So it's a way to give back for what I received then. Yeah. And it really touches my heart and is great felt. And it's the first annual, so hopefully we'll be part Doing of it for many a long more. time. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. And I understand exactly where you're coming from. Yep. So that is great. And let me ask you something. How does it make you feel knowing that not 80% or 70%, but 100% that's why we do it. Is going towards all of the uh, outreach shelters. All of the shelters is going. Yes, it's all going that's why we chose this ride because of the way the donations go. 
we know some of the other organizations and we've done rides with them and when they put 30 to 40 percent of what they get back toward the thing that's not really what i think it's about yeah, if you're doing this for the children do it for the children give them everything yeah, yeah. you know it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't cost us but our time to do these things and we love to ride and we so. love to mm -hmm. ride so why not do something that's going to make a difference and put forth to the community and help the children that need it and mrs claus when you ride like this as sexy <laughs> as you look and Thank as beautiful you. as you look you gotta ride honey <laughs> yep that's why i told him i'll make you look good <laughs> exactly and you are Thank let you. me tell you Thank so, you. Let me ask you, what do you ride, sir? O1 Ultra. All right. And how does it make you feel? Great. And it's running great, is it? 247,000 miles on it. Yep. Still Wonderful. Running. Wonderful. And may it go another 547,000 miles. We're going to ride until it quits, and then we'll get a new one. That's right. There you go. Well, <laughs> listen, I one. hope you enjoy, and we will see you at the last stop. Yes, you
It's got two glasses, a beautiful long sleeve gray um, sweatshirt, um, t shirt, and a $20 gift card. And the super duper cute Christmas ornament. All right. All right. Who's our lucky winner? Yeah, we're going to draw one. It's a small pool here. Mandy. 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 Two nine one six 
Zero, zero. Two, nine, one, six, she zero. She got it. Oh, she got it. I don't see it. For those of you who don't know, this helmet has a built-in Santa in it, so it has building communications already yes, in it. Oh, wow. Is it a helmet? Careful, something's going to fall out. Seriously. He's working on the back there. Give me some hands. There we go. There you go. Take it, baby. It is. Look at that. All right. So what's stuck inside this lid? Oh. Let's see what we all got. All right. So we got a nice pinwheel run commemorative T-shirt. Same one. Just let you know why I'm sticking in here. Every April we host what's called the Pimmy Mill Run at Crystal Harmony. I believe that's the same thing. Benefits from all that. The centers in the same county as the two places in So I hope to see you there. It is an escorted ride uh, by the Citrus County Sheriff's Office, and it's it a good time. It's a good time. So, who else done that? Well, we're getting there. Getting there. <laughs> she takes it up, man. Boy, she did. Yeah, I'm good at that. Two kids, that's why. <laughs> well, it's so well nobody gets in it. Somebody else loves tape too. I hate to open up her Christmas presents. <laughs> so this is the, what was in the box if you didn't know. Full face helmet comes complete with Bluetooth sound system, communication system. Wow. That's not a bad That's a bad sound. Yeah, retail value. This is discount, $330. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, now we got a box in the box. We got a box this in the box. This helmet's got more miles on it this year than he does on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault. I know, baby. Ah. Charge a cord? Which means there's probably something in here that needs to be charged. I'll tell you what. 
on auction or something. Bid starts ah. at 40 bucks. It's a $200 price. Right. All right. And we'll let you do it. The last thing in there is an Amazon Kindle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a fire, that's a Tablet. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I told you that wasn't all it was. It wasn't all it was. Hi there guys. We are here and we have made it. We're here at the Moose Lodge and we have done the Bikers Care first annual No Child Left Behind, No Child Forgotten Christmas Poker Run. And we have finished all five counties. We did all five counties, and that means all five counties are going to be getting money. And we're going to let you talk to Ninja, Guard Dog, and Spot, and they're going to let you know a little bit about this ride, and what it does, and who it's going to help. Hi Ninja, hi, hi. Guard Dog, hey. hi Spot. Hello. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing, what we did, and whom we're helping. We are helping the kids in the domestic shelters in the five counties. Um, it's all the kids that end up in these domestic shelters during Christmas time. And the, they have to pick up all their stuff probably in the middle of the night, maybe Christmas morning. They have nothing. We don't want them to be forgotten on Christmas Day. So we did this run for five counties to raise money for all of these kids. That's awesome. And I understand not 80% not 70, not 60, but 100% goes 100 to all five. 100% of the proceeds, yes. All five of these, and from that is I, fantastic. From what I understand, one of the counties, I believe it was Hernando County, had 35 families last Christmas. 35? 35. How do you give 35 families gifts? I don't know. Gifts? It's, that's why we're doing this, I mean, because they, these kids get nothing for Christmas morning. And people forget about these children because they're lost in the system they because are. they're hidden because they have to be because the court system hides them because their assailants are are and please guard dog you can talk to people and let let the let everybody know a little bit about that yeah I mean it's like um, we've been involved in, in the foster system and and working with area agencies now for almost five years and we've seen instances, and, and there's a lot of toy runs, let me say this right now, a lot of toy runs going on for fosters, for kids in the hospital, I mean, you name it, there's a lot of these events going on and they're all awesome, applaud every single one of them. Uh, but being on the other side, you know, we've seen a lot of fosters, especially sheltered fosters or fosters who are in state care, they do pretty good on Christmas, I tell you. Uh, families that are forgotten are the ones we call the kinship caregivers. These are the, the grandma and grandpa that are taking care of the kids' kids. And the kids who end up in the domestic violence shelter. Yeah. You know, uh, even if they're not physically victimized, just being in a home that's filled with violence is enough to cause PTSD in many of these children. And when we don't want any of them to wake up on Christmas morning and wonder why there's nothing under the tree from them. What do they do that made Santa not bring them anything? Exactly. You know, so we, we started a couple of years ago just doing a general fundraiser to try to help. And this year, we were fortunate enough to partner with all the area shelters in, in the six counties that we serve. That's Lake Sumter, uh, Citrus, Hernando, Pope, Pasco counties. And we actually partnered with these agencies to put this together. They manned the stops. Uh, they chose the stops in their counties. It not only helped us uh, create something kind of unique in a five county poker run, but it also gave all these agencies a chance to be up front and visible to the communities that they serve. You know, and, and we all have told them when we were doing the early planning stages, you never know. You just might be sitting at that table registering people and have somebody walk up to you that really needs your help, you know? And that's one of the other reasons we do it. They were here with us tonight, here at the final stop, and being able to interact with folks. And uh, it, it was just a real pleasure to do that for them. And we hope that this event is going to continue to grow, just like our pinwheel run has, so that we can really make a big dent in yeah. the need. That's awesome. And this is like a spinoff of the pinwheel run, which is kind of is, yeah, kind of is, has done kinda so is, yeah. well and wonderful. And now you have something else that's going to do wonderful, and it and it's going to bring presents to these children that don't have them. It's going to bring awareness to this foundation and to what's going on to these people, to the children, to the mothers, to the families that need help. Right. Yeah. I mean, nobody likes bad news, right? No. I mean, it sure. sells it sells papers, you know, and it gets you on the six p you know six o'clock news, 
but when it comes down to it, the, the, and it's, it's sad, but most of us don't want to, we just ignore it. We don't get involved. It's not, if it doesn't hit us directly, we, pass we just kind of pass it by. But, yeah. but I, and I'm going to tell everybody who's watching the John Heather show, you know, it's up to us because these kids are getting hurt in the homes. They're supposed to be protecting them, whether it's domestic violence, uh, abuse of any kind, sexual, emotional, physical. These are nine times out of ten happening, uh, happening to these children by someone who, who knows them, loves them, cares for them. The headlines you see on TV, like we've been seeing way too much of lately, of, of the, these child porno, uh, pornography arrests and that kind of thing, is just a small tip of the iceberg. Sure is, yeah. and, and we need to make sure people are aware of that because it falls on every single one of us to keep our eyes open, our ears peeled, and step in when we see a child might be in That's trouble. That's the most important thing is step up. If you see something, say something. We have to be their voice. Because they can't. They can't talk for themselves. Yeah. Exactly. And Spot, how do you feel about this? I think in, when you're thinking about abuse and, and just the the realm of it and you know what can we do as as adults and human beings to be able to to help others you know passing out a, a simple flyer you know giving the information that you happen to know if you you know, look on our website it's just you know it, you just never know when that conversation is going to happen and being ready for it right and when they might need that information right when might when they might need your website when they might need your one one eight hundred number. And what is that 1-800 number, Guard Dog? Uh, it's actually 813-609-2457. Uh, that's our help number. It's man, uh, monitor 24-7. Um, so if you do call that number, you need that number, you leave a message in your phone, uh, contact number, we will get right back to you. Wonderful. That is fantastic. I cannot tell you, John and I, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And it's been a fantastic day. We have enjoyed spending our entire day with you guys. You guys know you mean the world to us. We love you. It's been it's mutual. three it's years mutual. now, and uh, we love riding with you, and you can count us in on the future rides. It's you mean been the fun. world to us. Yes. Yeah, thanks so much. You guys. And like I said, well, we got you on the line. We got a big shout-out to Warner Ride. Yes, for Dem all and of their help. I mean, all their help. They've been so Lerman gracious well. in helping us with promotions and the flyers. And then uh, I got to give a shout out to our friends at Loma Law. Definitely. You know, there's a lot of law firms that are involved in the biker community, but usually, and I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying this, you know, but they give a little to a lot. Uh, our friends at Loma give a lot to a little. That's and it awesome. really makes a big they difference. Do. It does. And that makes a big difference. It does. And it helps. Yes, it does. And it's important when they're within our community. Yes. And they get to know us. Yep. That's important. And Born to Ride is fantastic. 25 years of publication. We love you, Born to Ride. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. We're here at the Moose Lodge, and we've just finished the ride today with Biker's Care, No Child Forgotten, Christmas Poker Run, and we've just finished that great big ride, Five Counties. Five. We just did five different counties. 150 miles. 150 miles we did. And it's all for a great cause to try to bring gifts for these children so they do not wake up on Christmas morning without a gift. These are children within foster care, abused children, children that don't get gifts because they have to be secluded and hidden so that their assailants don't find them. And it's very important that people like you make donations to these wonderful organizations like Bikers Care. So we've just finished our wonderful event, our ride. It's seven o'clock at night, we're exhausted, and we're getting ready to go ahead and make our about hour and a half ride home. And we just wanted to tell you guys that we had a great time today. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Bikers Care is a wonderful foundation. We do this, the Bikers Care No Child Forgotten Christmas Poker Run, and we also do Bikers Care Pinwheel Ride in uh, spring. So please look them up, do give to them. They are a wonderful foundation. 
And thank you so much to Born to Ride magazine for all of their advertisement and all of their support. They've helped and done a fantastic job. Loman Law Firm, thank you very much for all of your support, all of the bags that you made, the things that you made, the gifts that you've given to the children. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. We love you all. Shiny side up. Rubber side down. That's right. And on that note, guys, deuces.